We turn to other news tonight. Buffalo's police officers could soon get a pay bump after their union and the city hammered out a tentative contract. But before anything is official, the deal still faces another hurdle. News 4's Patrick Ryan is here. He's been looking into this for us tonight. Patrick. Don and Jackie, Union Buffalo Police employees overwhelmingly ratified a new contract on Monday. But it still faces scrutiny and needs a final stamp of approval from the Buffalo Common Council. The big item in this contract is a 3% retroactive salary increase from July 2021 to June 2022, then 4% raises for the following three years. The deal also marks the return of a new higher residency rule. Those hired after the ratification of this deal would be required to live in Buffalo at the time of employment and remain in the city for seven years after. Buffalo Police Benevolent Association President John Evans expects the agreement will be ratified. And Fillmore District Common Council member Mitch Nowakowski says if approved, the city will allocate $2.7 million for those retroactive payments. Not only is there an item of a new contract uh, for the PBA and for Buffalo police officers, but also we're talking about what that means uh, next year when it comes to uh, our fiscal sustainability. So we want to make sure that we have a good contract that's fair to the union members, but also fair to the city of Buffalo and making sure that we can sustain these new amendments and this new contract moving forward. This tentative deal also includes guidelines about the number of times per year union members can face management review and training. And Council Member Nowakowski tells us if the contract is not approved by the council, it could cost the city more money in the long run, as negotiations could go to arbitration. The council will put the contract under the microscope next week. Patrick Ryan, News 4.